So I've got another question here about high carb, low fat. Another one. Now this one's this one's from theguardian.com. High carb or high fat? Now it has Tim Noakes in there. Everyone's fucking favourite, Timothy Noakes. Tim, I've spoken to you. Tim, who's Timothy Noakes? He's a famous running author. All right, he's a person of public interest. So I can slag the fuck out of Timothy, and it's all good. Tim, if you're watching, pay attention, bro. Timothy Noakes read a lot of running books. I even read them many, many years ago. Good stuff. Timothy reckons that high carb is bad for performance, and high carb makes you obese. He reckons if you eat like a Kenyan, you'll become obese like a Kenyan and slow like a Kenyan marathoner. Oh, hang on. The Kenyans are the fucking fastest runners on the fucking planet. Ugandans, Kenyans, Ethiopians. In that little, what they eat? What they eat? High carb, low fat. Timothy Noakes, you are the dumbest motherfucking cunt in the book circuit ever. You're just a dumb fuck. You're such an arrogant cunt. You've given yourself type 2 diabetes in just the last few years. Because I remember the time I emailed you and I said, How, what's your hemoglobin A1C? And you said, oh, at this rate, I'll probably be on diabetic medication soon. And that time you were doing high fat, low carb. But in this article, you claim that a high carb diet gave you a, a type 2 diabetes. But that's a fucking lie. Because I've got the email where you say, I might have to take diabetic medication soon because I may have type 2 diabetes. You're a fucking lying cunt. You lie just so you can sell books. You're such an arrogant cunt, you would rather sponge off the South African health system and get your subsidised insulin and make the South African taxpayers pay for it because you're such an arrogant cunt, you don't want to stop giving up your bacon eggs. The fucking very diet that's giving you type 2 diabetes. Now, here's Dr. Neil Bernard's book. You can get in contact with Dr. Neil Bernard from PCRM.org and he'll fucking send you a free fucking copy of his book on how to clinically, not quackery, but fucking clinically reverse type 2 diabetes. So Tim Noakes, stop being an arrogant little fucking cunt. Change your diet, all right? And stop fucking lying to your audience and everyone else and saying that high carb, low fat gives you type 2 diabetes. Because I've got the fucking emails from you. So stop fucking lying to the Guardian. Who the fuck wrote this article anyway? Let's have a look at who wrote this. David Cox, he's the author of this article, and his claim to fame is, let's have a look at his claim to fame, he looks like an out of shape cunt as well. I've just lost the little image here. These fucking idiots out here. And Timothy Noakes says that there's a lot of professional cyclists eating high, high fat, low carb. High fat, low carb. Professional cyclists. Really, Timothy? Who are those people? Because I've fucking trained with over a thousand professional cyclists in the last, oh, since 97. And I'm talking not just like amateur dudes, I'm talking like, I've ridden with guys like Contador, Lance, Wiggins, a lot, a lot of crew. They come here for two and under. And I'll go train with them, go see what they eat and stuff like that. Sit in the back and observe like a fly on the wall. Every motherfucker out there who's pumping big watts is doing a high carb. How the fuck can you push 450 fucking watts without enough muscle glycogen? And you, Timothy Noakes, say, well, there's no point eating more than 300 grams of carbohydrate because the body simply can't store that much and, and, and you just use a lot of insulin and then you get fucking obese. Then how come we're all fucking lean as fuck? And how come Timothy Noakes, you, every single time you spew out a bullshit fucking article, you refuse to acknowledge the successful weight loss stories and athletic performances of the drug free, high carb, low fat, vegan community, the Royal Two Four crew, even the fucking fruitarians. How come you always fucking choose to ignore that? That's right, because you want to do some more book sales and tell people good things about their bad habits. You write books that appeal to my mum, my clinically obese mother who wants to believe that white rice made her obese, but she doesn't even fucking eat white rice. You go to my mum's pantry, there's maybe like a little packet that's been there for five years, and it's bacon, and it's meat pies, and it's all this fucking shit. My mum says, oh, I don't know, I just love my capskins. You know, so I hope calm. My car just ran out, but I'm just saying that that's who Tim writes books for. People who don't want real solutions. They don't want comforts. Oh, bacon's really good for you. Actually, you know what? Bacon's really slimming. And it's extra slimming if you cook it in lard. So if you've got too much body fat, then eat more body fat and eat it more body fat from dead animals. And if you've got problems with kidneys, that's probably because you had too much broccoli and bananas. So overload those, uh, those uh, kidneys of the renal system with extra amino acids from acidic sources such as, uh, uh, as dead animal flesh. Metabolic waste products, eat more animals. 
Timothy, no, because you are the dumbest motherfucking cunt out there. And you're a lying little snitchy piece of shit scumbag. Actually, you're not a scumbag. You're the worm that eats the scum off the bag. You are a fucking piece of dung in the deserts. What, the, the, the dung beetles that roll the dung? You're that dung they roll. And hopefully those dung beetles get undercard and roll that little dung fucking ball off a cliff. Off a of Cape Town. The Cape Horn. And you're that dung floating in the ocean and gets eaten by a fucking fish never to be seen ever again. So I hope a dung beetle rolls you off the cliff to be eaten by a tuna or something like that. Because you're just a fucking idiot. You are a fucking... Oh my God. You just... A, Fuck off, Tim. Stop writing books. Just go away. Go away. Seriously. The shit you spew is horrendous. And the motherfucking dumb cunt reporters who write that are as dumb as you. Do you have, like, what the fuck happened to you, mate? You honestly said that the Kenyan diet is bad for performance. Can you please show me one athlete? Now, I'm not talking the fucking cunts who run a 5k on the flat in 50 minutes. I'm not talking those, they're the people that write, buy your books. If you want to know who buys Timothy Noakes books, go to the very last few people in the running race. They're walkers. I'm not having a go on them, but I'm like, they're like, yeah, I'm doing Timothy Noakes program. I'm doing 10 minute, 10 minute 5k's and uh, I'm, I'm on pace to crack a 50 minute 5k today. Timothy Noakes says that carbs are bad for performance. Cars make you fat. Timothy Noakes, you live in fucking South Africa. If you're dead broke, I will fucking fly you to Kenya and go and train and watch what those Kenyan motherfuckers eat and we'll test their motherfucking hemoglobin A1C scores. And if any of those motherfuckers are over five, I'll buy you a new Rolls Royce. Fair trade, organic, 